Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another session of um, our discussions uh, under this uh, new topic. These are the daily uh, short uh, videos. Uh, today, I'm going to discuss with you an uh, interesting scenario. Uh, when an uncertainty hits our life, how we handle that sort of situation. So uncertainty, how you deal with uncertainty. Um, I can give you examples, so many examples. If you uh, are a newly arrived person in a different country um, and you left everything in home, like at home, everything, uh, say if you are a doctor, if you are a nurse, or if you are another person who decided to migrate and then in a new country now, and then you um, don't know what will happen in the near future to the family, your job, and whether you get a permanent residence in the place and things like that. So that's an example of uh, when it is uncertain to hit us, which happened to me a few times. First time when I went to Norway as a master's student, and then the second time uh, when I came to Australia to study PhD, and then the third time when I decided to leave the job in Sri Lanka as a senior lecturer in Peradeniya, and then decided to sort of uh, leave that and leave the country and then start afresh uh, in Australian setting. So there's uh, so many times I had the uncertainty, but uh, more than this, uh, uh, the things probably applicable for wider community in Sri Lanka. I can give you two personal examples or a few personal examples of uh, uncertainty badly affected me. Um, times of uncertainty badly affected me. Uh, one time is like everyone knows this. Uh, this is when we were high school students and then this is when we were sort of almost university entry students. Uh, like uh, in Sri Lanka, it's the advanced level st students. Uh, that's in 1989, 87 to 89. That's the time I was doing my A-levels and then I was doing biology stream. And um, you might know or you might have heard from your parents. And that was a very uncertain time for young people. Like uh, I was only 19 years old then, 17 to 19 that time. Uh, we didn't know whether we will live. And then we were, so our lives were in danger uh, because there was a civil unrest uh, between um, uh, the youth uh, led uh, um, uprising plus the uh, government uh, uh, armed forces. And then it was um, really uncertain times and then I can remember we lost <laughs> all of our uh, private uh, tutors and then schools were closed and then we didn't know where were we going uh, because we couldn't actually study for our A-levels. But still, uh, what we did was we kept at it. We kept fighting within ourselves to fighting in the sense we were kept uh, fighting uh, within ourselves to somehow stay focused. That means somehow stay studying. Uh, it didn't happen at the first time because everything was crushed and everything was uh, disarray at that time, 1989. And uh, actually um, we had to do it in the second time in 1990. That time we could um, refocus and restudy and then um, get through the A-levels to go to the university. We were successful. 15 of us were successful from our school, Bandarola Central College. Uh, if I tell you, uh, 30 people selected from Badula district. Out of those 30, 15 came from our school. I remember a uh, lot of my close friends were there. Actually, when I say stay focused, all those friends, we were uh, grouping together to study biology stream as well as math stream students. And then we were studying really hard, going to the private classes again and then uh, go and meet the school teachers and give some, you know, like uh, physics um, uh, past papers and things we studied. And... Uh, Above all, we even <laughs> study in the night. I can tell you there are so many things we did. We went for a class at night, like from uh, I, from my memory, it's probably from six o'clock to uh, nine o'clock in the night. And then we were 
walking home like three four kilometers walk from the town to my hometown my village so that sort of thing there's so many things we did to uh, overcome that uncertainty and then finally we were successful here we are and the, the similar thing happened to you guys i think in sri lanka when um, this uh, recent um, economic and political event started in sri lanka two years ago i think two or three years ago and then really uncertain times for young people very parallel to that 1989 scenario um uh, although it's not a uprising per se but it's more like economic and then uh, uncertainty about their future whether they will stay in sri lanka or go for another country and things like that not everyone can leave the country but the people who can leave may leave but the rest have to keep fighting like what we did in 1989 those are two examples of uncertain times i can keep talking about those in the future but it's our time now uh, okay i'll uh, wish you all best all the best and then keep fighting